Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you're already subscribed to me, go ahead and comment down below and tell me what you think of this video. So as you can tell from that thumbnail, you already know your girl is cooking Hello Fresh, and I'm super excited. This video is not sponsored at all. I'm super excited because I've been seeing it on YouTube and I've been seeing it on Google and I was just like, let me try it. So I'm gonna give my honest opinions about it and you guys are just gonna cook with me. Um, and then maybe this will inspire you guys to go get you some HelloFresh. So I'm super, super, super excited about this video. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay guys, we're back. So I kind of wanted to show you guys briefly the ingredients that I have. So bell pepper, this is a tomato, even though it's, yeah. This is a lime. We have an onion. We have hot sauce. And then what is this? One. I don't know what this is, but it says beef. So I guess this is the seasoning, taco seasoning, of course. Well, yeah, I guess. I don't know. This is Southwest Spice Blend. This is chili powder. And then we have uh, sour cream and then cheese. So right now, it's telling me to... It's telling me to preheat my oven to 450. I'm going to do that right now. 450. I think I have something in here, so I'm gonna take it out really quickly. Just have that. Okay. And it's telling me to chop up my food. Yeah. Guys, I brought, I got me some wine too, so I'm really getting into this. Okay. I should probably show y'all what I'm doing, so I'm gonna bring the camera down below in one second. <laughs> Okay guys, so right now I'm chopping up the cilantro. I'm just adding more to the bowl. The bowl already has onions, tomatoes, and I'm just putting some more lime in there and mixing it around for you guys to see. That's how I like my tomatoes and onions cut. You can do yours any way that you prefer, but that's how I like mine. And so right now I'm going in with black pepper, and I'm adding a little bit of salt, which is what the ingredients said to add. I'm just going to mix it up really good. And now I'm going on to step two, which is sour cream. So right now I'm going to open up the packets of sour cream that they provided. 
they gave me three packets of sour cream so i'm just gonna use that one and then i'm basically just throwing all my trash in that bag it's getting tough for me to get to open you guys will see that it's the packets are really hard to open so I'm just opening up the sour cream right now. I believe that's my second pack. So now I'm on to my third pack of sour cream. And I'm just making sure I get every bit out because those packets can't be resealed once you use them. And so now I'm going in with the hot sauce they provided. It's not really that hot. It's kind of like a, a mild sauce. Um... I didn't really prefer it like that but yeah so in the directions it said to add as much um, water as possible that I like for my consistency and I believe I added two or three tablespoons of water just to get it to the thickness and texture that I like and then I go in my refrigerator and I want to add my own hot sauce because their hot sauce is obviously not cutting it so I go in with my hot sauce just to finish it off and yeah, it comes out really good and it's really consistent. So now I'm done with the chopping of the ingredients and now I'm about to move on to my ground beef basically. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, so in this next scene, I am basically just getting my ground beef ready. Um, I'm opening up the packet, getting ready to prepare it to put on the skillet. Uh, I seasoned the skillet with non-stick spray since I did not have any olive oil. It was still a good substitute for me. It didn't stick, so. Um, yeah, I have my heat on a medium pressure um i took sips of my wine y'all because it was really good and i was getting into the cooking flow so yeah i'm just letting it simmer and right now i'm just reading over what the directions consist of and you'll see me adding salt because uh it says to add a little salt and i just added the southwest seasoning i believe i added the southwest seasoning and now I'm going to go in with the garlic powder. Nope, sorry, it's the chili powder they provided. So I'm just going in with uh, their packets. And then they didn't provide any salt, so I had to go in with my own. So right now I just finished adding the beef sauce in there. And now I'm about to add the stock sauce. I mean the water. Hee <laughs> hee. So here is the final product, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm gonna take my first bite, and you guys are gonna get my first impressions. That's actually really good. Mmm. This is so good. And I'm starving. So, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to come back on here in one second. This is so good, guys. Like, oh my God. I'm just going to take another one for you guys. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. It's so good. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. I just got done eating. That food was literally so good. I had three tacos. That really fooled me up. I'm full for the day. Just drinking some wine now. But, yeah. That food was really good. I would definitely recommend, if you guys haven't, to just check out HelloFresh. Um, I will give you guys a little bit of advice. 
their menus change every week so what i just made today might not be on the menu for when you guys go check so just be aware of that and um it charged my car immediately before i selected my meals so i just wanted to throw that in the video just in case someone was like hesitant and i think it's like non-refundable once it charges your car you just have to get something so i just wanted to throw that in there because I know I was completely thrown off when I ordered my food. I would definitely recommend you guys to try it out. I have some other food up here. Let me show you guys really quickly. I have the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. These are the things I do not eat guys that they gave me. Pork, I don't eat this. And then the home style biscuits. So yeah, this was so, so good. I was not expecting it to be this good. It definitely does not taste like a taco. It tastes like something better that came from a restaurant, honestly. It's a 10 out of 10 for me for this meal. So if you guys haven't, check out HelloFresh. They have a uh, 150 off, I think right now. Something in that price range. It was very affordable. I spent less than $50 on four meals that serves two people so i have four meals that serves two people yeah um i'm super full i have to clean up but thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure that you watch it all the way do all the way through obviously but thank you guys so much i'll see you guys in the next video